What do they want? People around the world have been asking themselves this question since the first day of the full-scale invasion. The purpose of the war in Ukraine still remains a mystery for civilized countries with a sober lifestyle. Establishing full control over the Donbass and the south of Ukraine, establishing the land corridor to the Crimea and the impact on vital objects of the Ukrainian economy. These are the main goals of the second phase of the so-called Russian special operation in Ukraine. This was stated by the commander of the Central Military District of Russia, Rustam Minikayev. He says the second phase began a few days ago. Meanwhile, the Kremlin knows nothing about it. They say it is better not to comment. And this is understandable, because compilation of statements of Moscow officials since February 24th rather looks like a story of mental disorder. First announcement of his goals Putin made at night on February 24th. Shortly afterwards, Russian missiles hit Ukrainian cities and tanks crossed Ukrainian borders. Защита людей, которые на протяжении восьми лет подвергаются издевательствам, геноциду со стороны киевского режима. И для этого мы будем стремиться к демилитаризации и денацификации Украины, а также приданию суду тех, кто совершил многочисленные кровавые преступления против мирных жителей, в том числе и граждан Российской Федерации. An open invasion, which the Russians still call a special operation, started. The Kremlin's plans were specified the next day by one of Putin's minions, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. President Putin принял решение о проведении специальной военной операции по демилитаризации и денацификации Украины с тем, чтобы, освободившись от этого гнета, украинцы сами свободно могли бы определить свое будущее. Not just specified, but openly shifted the emphasis. Russians have spoken about denazification hundreds of times, at meetings in the Kremlin, on TV, on the streets. Ask any Russian why Russia started the war. They will tell you something like this. Вот это падаль нацистская, вы теперь спрашиваете, что мы с ним будем делать? Вольнем. И спрашивать не будем. И все, что там с этим связано. Не добили во Вторую мировую войну. The Kremlin is no longer happy that the struggle against mythical Nazism in Ukraine has been imposed on the Russians. According to the Russian newspaper Medusa, the Putin administration no longer knows how to end the war through negotiations so that the leader's rating does not fall. Just imagine, Putin appeals to the Russians, talk about how the occupiers fought with the fictional Bandera, but any signs of victory can be seen, and announces the signing of the truce. Adepts of the Z symbol will not understand this. They want to fight to the last. However, lying on the couch. The mobilization plan fails. This man mentioned Poland for a reason. On March 1st, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu stated that the invasion of Ukraine was committed to protect Russia from the threat from the West. In less than a week, another of the Kremlin's top newsmakers, Maria Zakharova, will say something similar. Устранение военной угрозы России, которая исходит с украинской территории из ее освоения странами НАТО соответствующим образом и накачки оружия. В ее задачи не входит ни оккупация Украины, ни разрушение ее государственности, ни свержение действующей власти. Она не направлена in other words, the Kremlin speakers do not control what they say. While Putin is mumbling about demilitarization, his puppets have already confirmed this demilitarization. And even more, seeing that their savage troops had done, the Kremlin immediately denied its involvement. Remember of Bucha and Irpin with hundreds of murdered people with their hands tied and their heads shot. Or Borodyanka with dozens of civilians perished in the rubble. Don't forget about Mariupol, it's still impossible to count the victims there. After all these atrocities, on March 29, the Kremlin declared that the first phase of the so-called special operation had been completed. В целом основные задачи первого этапа операции выполнены. Существенно снижен боевой потенциал украинских вооруженных сил, что позволяет сосредоточить основное внимание и основные усилия на достижении главной цели 
освобождения Донбасса? Well, now the main goal is the liberation of Donbass. Probably the Russians decided that Ukraine is already sufficiently demilitarized and denazified. After all, Shoigu no longer mentions these two goals of the invasion. Or maybe he just forgot that the Russians declared it as the main purpose of the so-called special operation. Probably it was time to announce new goals. On April 7th, Putin's spokesman Dmitry Peskov took over the baton. Just imagine a situation when a member of NATO, Ukraine, thinking about returning of Crimea, attacks Russia and attacks Russian Crimea, and using an article number five of NATO charter, NATO countries possessing nukes will have to defend Ukraine. Yeah. It should be a third world But war. And what is being done is to save happen. us from any potential threat of such a war. Once again, they are killing Ukrainians to prevent the Third World War. Moreover, NATO is already openly threatening there. That's how the official purpose of the war changed from this. Ее цель защита людей, которые на протяжении восьми лет подвергаются издевательствам, геноциду со стороны киевского режима. To this. Ясно, что сейчас мы де факто начинаем воевать. And no matter what the Kremlin's puppet speakers say, ordinary Russians hear and approve only one thing. For the world psychiatry, this is the most common and most severe case of impulsive personality disorder. Among the reasons, doctors call pathological heredity, brain disease and alcoholism. To treat this disorder, group sessions are recommended, as well as sedatives, antipsychotics and tranquilizers. In fact, the countries of the world have already begun to transfer them to Ukraine.